Brokti Yahawa Brakata, Yehosha, Brokti Yahawa Brakata, Yehosha, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. A lesson will be entitled Understand Fully at Apostle Gabar Salakia for my misspeak. Okay, I was ignorant to the fact. And um, going into the term of nepotism, and from the spirit, it makes sense what Apostle Gabar is about to break down. So I was more so looking at it from a carnal lens, all right? And that's why we have spiritual fathers. And if your spiritual father tells you to do something, you do it, okay? Point blank, period. If your spiritual father tells you to do something, you do it. But most importantly, I understand fully. Okay. Right? It says, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, mm -hmm. thy only begotten. Thy firstborn. If you all knew the law about the first, you wacky tacky Christians, if you knew the law of the firstborn, you'd know why they get everything. That's right. There's this so this video is going into Yahweh deals with nepotism. Okay? I repeat, Yahweh deals with nepotism. Law of the firstborn, Exodus 13, 1 and 2. Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb of the children of Israel, yep. it is mine. Yep. Yahweh Shai was the first of the firstborn. That's why he gets everything. That's right. Okay? As he should. As right. he should. Right. And then the elect, the rest of the elect. Now somebody <laughs> did a video, the most high don't, uh, the most high is not about nepotism. You're wrong, brother. There's a brother who did it. Somebody passed the word down to that brother. You're wrong. The Heavenly Father is about nepotism. Matter and also posted on live that I will remove the video at that time frame, which I did. And I also informed Elder Kazak too, because he had did a respond. Okay, so of course, um, after his respond to my video, he later did a correction video. In fact, somebody put nepotism, the definition of nepotism in, in the, uh, in the um, comment section. And um, uh, uh, like it. Uh, I, I got it here too. You got it? Okay. Number two. Number I'm trying two to think three. of that. Yeah. Jeremiah three. Okay. One of a, a city and two. Okay. Jeremiah three. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, nepotism. Now, the practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives, friends, or association especially by giving them them jobs now yahweh shai now the brother said the most is not with nepotism right yahweh shai what did he call us he called us friends mm, right. yeah yeah all right let's get that get that somebody get that it makes sense because everything is set up in the spirit all right so everything is set up in the spirit before the actual action manifested or exercised on earth remember everything is set up in the spirit Okay, so with that being said, let's go to Ephesians chapter 1 and 4. Let's start at 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Mashiach, by the will of the Most High, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Mashiach, Yahweh Grace be to you and peace from the Most High, our Father, and from the Lord, Yahweh Mashiach. Blessed be the Most High, or Salakia. Blessed be the power and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Mashiach. Verse 4, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So this was set up prior to our existence on earth. So yes, Yahweh deals with nepotism, okay? Uh, you want to get that from that side? Yeah, uh, I'll get it. What was that, John 15? Now, when you go into the word friend, now check this out. When you go into the word friend, the, the word there in the Italian slash Latin is fratello, which means brother. Right? Now, 
if you check it out, right, Peter, Peter, now we know reincarnation exists, right? Reincarnation is in the scriptures. Peter in his past life was who? Was King David. He that have ears to hear, let him hear. Right. King David was the father of who? Solomon. Yahweh Shai in his past life was who? Solomon. Mm -hmm. So you see the connection? That's the very example of nepotism. Keep it all in the family. Oh, yeah. Like that show, All in the Family. Yeah. Really, the elect is one big family. Okay, and we're all somewhere down the line related. Uh, and we're all related to Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's why he said, I've called you friends. As a matter of fact, you, you want to bring it up? Yep, okay. okay. Uh, John 15 and 12. Mm -hmm. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Right. Greater love hath no man than this, mm -hmm. that a man lay down his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. A man lay down his life for who? His friends. His friends, which means he, 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 even in the spirit, y'all are closely related. So a true friend, he'll, look, he'll, he'll be there for you through mm -hmm. thick and thin. That's right. Okay? Because y'all are knitted in, oh, oh Dave, uh, 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 Jonathan. That's right. King Jonathan's David. spirit was knitted to who? King, King David. David. That's right. So our spirit the, of the hopeful elect, we're knitted to Yahweh Shai. And when you go deeper, we're interrelated with Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So that's the very idea of nepotism. You read the definition, right? Yeah. Favors friends, relatives for positions of power. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's it, like nephew. Okay. that's the root word, nephew. The root word is nephew. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So it said, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. Ye are my friends. So this this even goes beyond servants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right? Yeah. <laughs> this even goes beyond because you're a man's servant don't have, don't necessarily have to be his friend. Mm -hmm. He's a servant, he just does his job. It's business. It's just business. But Yahweh Shai said, we're his friends. Now when you go into that word friend, it means brother. So there's that relation, man. There's that relation. Okay? So we're related, the true elect, they're related to Yahweh Shai. Check that out, man. Go ahead. It says, henceforth, I call you not servants. Henceforth, I call you not servants. Go ahead. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. There you go. That's right. It's like I said, a servant can serve a man and do his job. That's it. Don't necessarily have to be that man's friend. But sometimes you're an exceptional servant like Abraham. Remember the right. servant he had? He was an exceptional servant. Mm -hmm. Abraham even wanted to give him the, the inheritance. That's the good. Heavenly Father said, oh, hell no. 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 All right? Do, do, come out of your loins. That's right. Nepotism. That's right. Come out of your loins. Nepotism. Yeah. So you, you got to rethink that, brother. You know who you are who did that video. And, 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 you, gotta, you might take that video down, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead. And, and nepotism, too, yeah. because... Definitely, bro. Or Salaki Apostle. Ain't no thinking. I went off. All right, so let's go to Proverbs, um, the eighth chapter, to further the point of Apostle Gabar. So let's start at verse 28. The Lord Yahweh possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no foundations abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there, when he set a compass on the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth, and my, de and my delights were with the sons of men. The point is, okay, Yahweh Shai basically um, knew the game plan prior to him actually doing the work on earth, okay? And this was all within the will of the Most High, going into that term, nepotism, all right? So we have this truth. We have the Holy Spirit based on the fact of nepotism, okay? So you can associate that term like Apostle Gabar always say,
to this thing of ours, okay? So yes, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai deals with what? Nepotism, all right? And also, Hebrews 13 and 17, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your spirits as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for, for that is unprofitable for you. So at the end of the day, if your spiritual fathers tell you you're doing good, okay, hey, keep up the good work. And if they tell you you're going off, you got to do what you got to do. So if a video has to be removed or you have to be rebuked in any fashion, you take it like a man. All right, not accepting rebuke is a feminine spirit. Okay, so Salakia to um, the nation, um, you know, I misspoke again, but hey, I made it right. And that's what it's all about. So at the end of the day, again, and I think I will retitle this video to the Most High deals with nepotism. Okay, because we were all selected. Okay prior to the conception of the world. Yahweh was selected prior to the conception of the world. And this is based on the Most High's favor. So again, it makes fucking sense. The water, Shalom.